limited information that has been released in terms of who is at highest risk of getting the infection. So far, most of the cases um, have been adult patients, so, so very few patients in children. Part of this could be because many of the cases were infected in the seafood market and uh, that's mostly where adults work. Some of this though could be about um, susceptibility to the infection and, and that is not really known. I think importantly um, this illness can present with a wide spectrum of illness from milder disease to, to more severe infection of the chest and, and even death and what they what has been released is that in the more severe cases, most of them did seem to have some kind of an underlying illness. So either they, they were very elderly, um, or they had underlying lung disease or heart disease or other illnesses. So people who have some other type of underlying illness or people who are very elderly, early data suggest that these may be the groups that are more at risk of severe disease. The recent outbreak of the novel coronavirus is called the 2019 NCOV. The word corona means crown and novel means new. These groups of viruses are named coronaviruses because of the distinct crown-like spikes that is visible under a microscope. Since a new strain has been discovered, novel coronavirus 2019, the abbreviation is NCOV. And 2019 signifies the year it was first identified.